Christmas is a time for families to come together and celebrate the magic and joy of this very special season. Hello, I'm Michael Eisner, head of the Walt Disney Company. And today, I'm here to share what has become a time-honored tradition. It all started back in 1950 when Walt Disney aired messages, his very first TV show on Christmas Day. The true spirit of Christmas. In the years since, millions have joined together at the most magical time of the year, at the most magical place on Earth, the Walt Disney World Resort. And that tradition continues to this very day. So from all of us to all of you, we hope you enjoy the parade, and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Christmas, everybody. Once again, it's Christmas morning. Oh, yes, indeed. And we are here in the Magic Kingdom along with thousands of others who are here to enjoy the always spectacular Walt Disney World Christmas Day Parade. And the moment is finally here. Yeah. So let's get this party started. We'll okay. cut the ribbon and get sister. the show on the road. Kelly, I'm going to cut this right here. Nikki, ready? One, two, three. My friend and your host, Kelly Ripa, along with special stars from the Wayne Brady Show and ABC's Whose Line Is It Anyway? Wayne Brady. And reporting from around the Walt Disney World Resort at the Disney MGM Studios from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and The View, Meredith Vieira. At Disney's Animal Kingdom, Good Morning America's Robin Roberts. At Epcot, from The View, Star Jones. From Disneyland in California, ABC stars John Ritter and George Lopez. With performances by country singing sensation Leanne Womack. And from the Goo Goo Dolls, John Resnick. From the Disney Channel, The Wiggles. Broadway's original Annie, Andrea McArdle, and her daughter Alexis Kalof. From Disney Channel's Lizzie McGuire, Hilary Duff. Hot young musical group, Jump Five. From the original Broadway cast of The Lion King and Aida, RCA recording artist Heather Headley. And Bear from Bear in the Big Blue House. All this and more on the most wonderful day of the year. Disney World Christmas Day Parade on ABC, brought to you by Sudafed. Help stop sinus pain before it starts with non-drowsy Sudafed. And Pillsbury Crescents, now with a richer and more buttery taste. 
Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome back to the Magic Kingdom and the Walt Disney World Christmas Day Parade. It's like a tradition with us, isn't it? It really is. I like nothing better than spending my Christmas mornings with you. And with you, and now this year with the baby. Yes, yes. the new one. This is the baby's first experience at Disney World, <laughs> and already I hear her saying, Yucky, Yucky. <laughs> You're getting right. right. That's right. Well, we're going to have the big parade right down here, mm -hmm. right down Main Street. It's going to be a lot of fun, as it always we is. We have an absolutely pristine view, and, oh, yeah. but not better than the view that everybody has at home. You're going to have That's the best sure. view, and there's a lot in store for you today. Singers, dancers, floats, snowmen, lots of celebrities. And right now, time to check in with our good friend, Wayne Brady. Hey, Regis. Hey, Kelly. So how hey, are you guys Wayne. doing? Hey, you're looking good down there. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank Where you. Where are you, Wayne? Are you on Main Street right now? I'm right here on Main Street. And earlier you were talking about views. I've got the best view. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm right here on Main Street. I'm with the people. You guys are in the booth, but power to the people. Yeah! Because I like to come down with the people. Are the people with me? Yeah! Everybody say Jingle Bell. Jingle Bell. So being down here on Main Street, it made me think, think that one of the traditions that I have personally is I love coming here and I love seeing the characters and they're in the parade and they're dancing around. So I wanted to see if anyone here in the audience, if they could do a decent character voice or walk like, like their favorite character. And you guys get a chance to win an all expense paid trip to your own house and sleeping in your own bed. How's that? So can anyone do, do a Mickey voice? We have a Mickey voice. Anyone do a Mickey voice? You, sir. You are? My name's Bob. Go ahead, Bob. Hey, Minnie, what'd you do with Goofy's food? Good, that's Marvin Mouse, that's good. <laughs> and, and you? Oh, boy. <laughs> that's a good one, and what do you got? Whoa, 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 Merry Christmas, Mickey. Wow, Alice Cooper <laughs> does Goofy. That rocks. See, you never know what you're going to find on Main Street. Back to you guys. Hey, thanks, Wayne, and stay out of trouble down there. I love that Wayne. He's a little wild, but I love him. Yes, it. all that talent and just one man. Hey, I got a great idea. Why don't we go to a parade? That is a great idea. <laughs> Who's up first? Take a look at this. <gasps> hey, would you look at that? Kicking off the parade today, none other than Pluto and the boys right out of a Dickens scene. Didn't you tell me once that Pluto was your favorite Disney Shh, character? Stop it. It always goes to his head. I don't think so. That <laughs> dog has been in more than a hundred films, believe it or not. It's the most Look at those beautiful couples, so elegantly choreographed. How could we have a Christmas without Dickens? Charles Dickens has influenced how we celebrate Christmas more than any single person in history, except one. I know Santa Claus, right? Got it. Doesn't the Dickens fan look sharp? You know, Dickens wrote a Christmas carol right after his first visit to America. You know, I love it when you talk history to me. Look at this beautiful castle. Oh, filled with all my favorite heroes and heroines from the classic Disney fairy tales. You know, I see besides you some of <laughs> Disney's greatest leading ladies. Uh, there's Sleeping Beauty. Ah, and of course, her stunning Prince Philip. And Cinderella Jingle with bells, Prince Charming. Bells, but I really bells, love Cinderella. Santa Claus is coming. And there's the Little Mermaid. Is she a princess? I thought she had fins. She married Prince Eric, remember? Oh my gosh, how could I forget? <laughs> and who could ever forget the one that started it all, Snow White? Well, you are in for a real treat, Reed. What's that? We have a special performance right here on Main Street. Oh, what? What's going on? She played Belle on Broadway's huh? Beauty and the Beast, yeah. but most people remember her as the original Annie, oh. Andrea McCardle. Now, here she is when she was just 14 years old, performing in a Disney Christmas special right here on Main Street. Wow. And she's with us today again with another rising young star, her daughter, Alexis Kalhoff. When you imagine time becomes timeless When you imagine how things could be Fantasy spins through the world you create And the magical moments away
wish I could be part of your world. So this is love. So this is love. So this is what makes life divine. I'm all aglow now. I know the key to all heaven is mine. My heart is wings up, and I can fly. I'll touch every star in the sky. Boy, they were something, weren't that they? That is amazing. Like mother, like daughter. There's more Christmas Parade and lots more holiday entertainment to come with a performance from Beauty and the Beast. Stay with us. Oh, aren't they sweet? Yeah. Welcome back, everyone, to the Walt Disney World Christmas Day Parade here in the Magic Kingdom. A little later on, we're going to have a special holiday greeting from the President of the United States. Well, it looks like all of Walt Disney World has turned out for this parade today. Mm, it sure does. In fact, look what's coming straight from the Disney MGM Studios. It's our friends from Beauty and the Beast. Look who's there. There's Mrs. Potts, Lumiere, Chip, Cogsworth. There are special guests here today from their live stage show at the Disney MGM Studios. Uh -huh. It's really a fantastic Broadway-style production. Did you see that show oh, here? Oh, absolutely. I've seen it many times here. I'm really impressed by it. There's Belle, and there's the Beast. What a lovely couple, huh? Mm, just oh. like us. <laughs> <laughs> Those costumes are really just outstanding. You know, when you think about it, it really is a wonderful story. Time as old as time True as it can be Barely even friends Bends unexpectedly. Just a little change. Small to say the least. Both a little scared. Neither one prepared. Beauty and the Hey, who's that? What's going on down there? That's Jump 5. These kids are bringing Beauty and the Beast to a whole new generation.
How about that for high energy? They are terrific. And Jump 5, incidentally, is featured on the Beauty and the Beast DVD. Yeah, I, I think they're great, really. They are. Can I just say for a second? What? It's amazing to me what? how festive everything is here for the holidays. I mean, just look around. They even decorate the decorations. <laughs> That's Disney World. It's pretty amazing, especially considering how big Walt Disney World Resort is. With four theme parks, water parks, resort hotels, golf courses, a nighttime entertainment district, and it all gets dressed up for the holidays? How do they do it? I'm going to tell you how they do it. It takes a team of decorators a year of planning until the moment comes when working through the night, they put up 140 truckloads of decorations, drape 15 miles of garland, and dress more than 1,500 trees of all sizes. Like over at Epcot, where there is a canopy of 30,000 synchronized bulbs called the Lights of Winter. Putting this up is in your average weekend project. It takes a team of 15 construction workers almost a month to pull it off. As early as July at the Disney MGM Studios, the technical elves start testing and plugging in 350 miles of light bulbs, which are a part of the spectacle of lights, the wildest neighborhood you've ever seen. That's a lot of wire to untangle, you know what I mean? And the resort hotels are absolutely amazing. Pastry chefs build elaborate confectionery figures and edible displays. Disney's Beach Club Resort makes a carousel using 50 pounds of dark chocolate. Oh my gosh, keep me away from that. And one of the favorite holiday edibles is the life-size gingerbread house at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. And of course, there are these colossal Christmas trees that tower over the resorts and four theme parks. They've got king-size ornaments, and each tree has its own theme. At Walt Disney World, these trees are at the center of a magical holiday celebration that lasts all season long. We'll be right back with more of the Walt Disney World Christmas Day Parade, including a holiday performance by country superstar Leanne Womack. And later on, we'll hear from Hilary Duff and John Resnick. Stay with us. The Walt Disney World Christmas Day Parade will continue in a moment here on ABC. Hey, Ross Clark Mountain! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> and Merry Christmas to you up wow. there on Splash Mountain. What a ride that is. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do that in New York this time of year. <laughs> oh, You'd I freeze don't think to so. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome back to this beautiful weather here on Christmas morning. By now, everyone at home has opened their presents and found what Santa's left. Yeah, batteries in all the toys and <laughs> you need deep in wrapping paper. I know the scene. Oh, I know it. My place is such a mess. But let's get back to the parade now. Mm. Looks like we're headed to the Grand Old South Reach. Where the riverboat dances and the SS Disney. And that's a showboat, isn't it? You know, the riverboat pilot is actually steering the float. Did really? you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah. This has to be the biggest float in the parade. As a matter of fact, <laughs> it is, Pip. you got to carry those two. Rare Rabbit and Brer Bear. This whole parade's about tradition, Reach. And this float is about American history and the roots of America. The Mississippi River, Mark Twain. Notre Dame football. Uh, the parade <laughs> reminds us of our past. I still love a marching band, don't you? Mm -hmm. This is what parades are all about. Here's the Ambridge, Pennsylvania High School Marching Band. By the way, Regis, uh, Main Street here is a replica of Walt Disney's hometown in Marceline, Missouri. Really? Yeah, and one of his favorite things to do was to listen to marching bands just like this one when he was young. This happens to be a terrific band and one of the biggest bands I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Look 
at this beautiful Christmas scene. Snow-covered cottage, one of my favorite Texans and singers, Miss Leanne Womack. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping. But if you really hold me tight, oh, all the way home I'll be warm. Ah, oh, the fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbye. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, oh, let it snow. Walking in a winter wonderland In the meadow we can build a snowman And pretend that he is Parson Brown But he'll say, I am married, we'll say no man But you can do the job when you're in town Later on we'll conspire as we dream In a winter wonderland A walking It's awfully good. That song never sounded so good. <laughs> no. Not even when we performed it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, there's lots more to come, so stay with us. Don't go away. A performance from Festival of the Lion King and a look at Disney's wildest theme park with Good Morning America's Robin Roberts when we return. Hi, we're all on safari at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Hey! Christmas to you, everybody, and welcome back. You know, this place never ceases to amaze me. We sit here watching a terrific parade go down the turn of the century Main Street. Back not too far from here, though, people are talking to crocodiles, ostriches. It's true. Disney's Animal Kingdom is the newest theme park here at Walt Disney World. And the largest. Do they have any lions? They have lions. Well, they better have lions because I love lions and I love tigers and I love Good Morning America's Robin Roberts. She's here with the lions, the tigers, and everybody else. Oh my. Hey, hey Robin, you're spending Christmas <laughs> Day with a bunch of wild animals? What's going on out there? That's right, Regis. We're having a wild time out here at Disney's Animal Kingdom, as you can see behind me. We're enjoying Christmas with a little beat. They have done an incredible job of recreating all kinds of environments from around the world, like Harambe Village that you see here. I mean, it is incredible. When you step into this park, you really feel like you're stepping into a remote corner of the world. That goes for the more than 1,500 animals that live here and for the humans who come to Disney's Animal Kingdom, the newest and biggest park at Walt Disney World. The spirit of Animal Kingdom is really about the celebration of the love of the animals. It sure is, and in a big way. With so many things to do, it's hard to know where to start. I say, go with the flow. Kali River Rapids is a white water experience that takes you through the rainforest of Asia with some unsuspected twists and dips and turns. And one thing about Kali River Rapids, you will definitely get wet. Oh, that's no problem. Go ahead, get wet. Then spin dry over at Dino-Rama. Primeval World is a uh, sort of a zany spinning attraction that takes you through the time of dinosaurs. And this particular attraction, the dinosaurs are trying to hitch a ride back. 
or hitch a ride yourself on a safari vehicle. Kilimanjaro Safari is, is, a, is a true life experience where you actually go into the wilds of Africa. And it's the largest attraction at Walt Disney World Resort, over about 105 acres. So you immerse yourself in this African experience and really can take that home with you. But don't take this home with you, the most ferocious creature in the park. And I'm not talking about the lion. They call it dinosaur, an exciting, cutting-edge attraction that uses innovative technology and special effects to send guests back to a time when ferocious dinosaurs ruled the Earth. Parades and shows, animals and adventure. Disney's Animal Kingdom is an all-out, no-holds-barred celebration of life that everyone's making a big noise about. I've heard people call this the wildest theme park around. Don't you think, Regis? You got that right, Robin. Hey, I don't know you had such a wild side, baby. Well, Regis, I had no idea that you cared <laughs> so much. And I have some pretty wild friends as well. This is Red, and he'd like to help me wish you and Kelly a Merry Christmas, all right? One, two, <coughs> Merry Christmas! Hey, Merry Christmas. Thanks a lot, Robin. Looks like she's having a lot of fun out yeah, there. Yeah, who can blame her? Hey, and direct from the Animal Kingdom right here on Main Street. It's Simba from the Lion King, looking like the king he is up there on Pride Rock. With his bestest friend, Timon. And Rafiki, I love that baboon. And he's here with the cast from the Festival of Lion King stage show. You're talking about that live stage show? Mm-hmm. From Disney's Animal Kingdom? This show is unique. It's the only stage production performed in the round at Walt Disney World. It really makes the audience feel like they're part of the show. And they brought it to us today.
It's a classic show, you know, it's just beautiful. Right there on Main Street, too. Mm -hmm. And did you know the original Lion King is being re-released nationwide today, Christmas Day, in IMAX theaters on that large format screen? Now I know what I'm going to do with the rest of my <laughs> afternoon. Why not? <laughs> well, there's lots more to come. Do you like to wiggle? You know I do. Oh, Good. I love wiggling. I'm glad, because the wildly popular Wiggles are going to be here. We'll also see our good friend Bear in the Big Blue House when we come back. Another favorite of mine, the Bear in the Blue House. I love him. The Walt Disney World Christmas Day Parade will continue in a moment here on ABC. Welcome back, everybody, and Merry Christmas. We're back at Walt Disney World enjoying today's parade. Later on, we're going out to see John Ritter at the Disneyland Resort in California. And back here at Disney's MGM Studios, we'll be checking in with Meredith Vieira, who's going to fill us in on everything that's happening over there. <laughs> Stitch, we said you cannot come on the show. Come on, hit the road. Okay. No TV job. Oh, I think you were a little hard on him. Please. Oh, but look how cute he is. Look at how cute. He's not that cute. He's now he awfully wants, cute. Now he wants to be on TV, too. He's got his own DVD. <laughs> You'll learn to love him. Just look at those big eyes. <laughs> What's the matter with him? <laughs> Let's just get back to the parade. She'd leave us alone. Look, Reed, it's Santa's workshop. With Buzz Lightyear and Woody from Disney Pixar's Toy Story. Oh, just look at them all. A toy factory for all the children here. What do you think? They look like they're having a good time. They sure are. MGM Studios, it's our friends from Playhouse Disney. Oh, look, it's Bear in the Big Blue House. Yeah, but where's the house? That's just the name of the show. It's on Disney Channel every morning. I should know, believe me. Yeah. And look, oh, there's Stanley, and PB and J Otter, and Oli and Zoe from Roly Poly Oli. <laughs> Bear and his friends are visiting from their live stage show at the Disney MGM Studios, where they perform for the kids every day. And with us to perform his famous cha-cha-cha, here's Bear. I love that bear. Oh, he's adorable. And what a dancer. Yeah, but he's a regular Ray Bolger, you know? <laughs> yeah. Now get ready for America's biggest sensation. I know. You're talking about the Wiggles. Right. 
They're on Playhouse Disney every morning on the Disney Channel. Originally from Australia, these guys are turning into the hottest kids entertainers in the world. I see them in Fantasyland. Well, listen to those kids. They love these guys. That's cause it's the Wiggles. And the mommies are pretty excited too. Well, they are cute. Merry Christmas, we're the Wiggles. And today at Christmas time, it's a great time to have some great food like some hot potatoes, cold spaghetti, and mashed banana. Hot potato, hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Everybody, potato. Potato, potato, potato. Here comes cold spaghetti, everybody. Cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti. Cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti. Cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti. Good to you this morning. Yeah! yeah. Uh, well, Santa Claus is a very good friend of ours. We've got a song to help cheer him on his way around the world. Go, Santa, go! Go, Santa, go. You've got such a long way to go. Go, Santa, go. Go, go. Presents here for everyone in the land. I'll go, Santa, go. You've got such a long way to go, go, Santa, go. Go, 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 go. go. Don't call the reindeer, go. get her ready, go, go. and the way you go. Go, Santa, go. Go, go, go. Wow. Go, Santa, go. For those songs, I can't get the wiggles out of my mind. Well, we'll be right back with Mike and Sully from Monsters Incorporated and with Meredith Vieira, who's at the Disney MGM Studios. And a little later, John Ritter will join us from Disneyland. Stay with us. Yeah, that drop, remember that? Oh, wow. That's a drop. drop. And here, look who just dropped in. <laughs> yes, hey, it's the bear. bear. How you doing, Bear? Merry Christmas, you two. Bear, Thank you, Bear. How's everybody back at the big blue house? Oh, we've been having a wonderful morning, but I had to stop by and say hi to you guys we and do a little cha-cha with everybody. Yeah. How, do bear, how does the bear celebrate holidays? Well, we have a tradition back at the big blue house called the Christmas Helpers. Oh. The Christmas Helpers, really? Yes. For breakfast, I have the Christmas Helpers, Pip and Pop, Pass out the triple berry pancakes. Uh huh. And they kind of do it frisbee style. Yeah, sounds good. And then for caroling, I have the Christmas helpers Ojo and Trila who pass out the Christmas caroling book and get to pick the songs. And then, of course, there's the Christmas helper to pass out the presents, who is Tutter. Wow. This a little is... mouse carrying a lot of presents takes a long time. <laughs> no kidding. This is some holiday you have. <laughs> oh, yes. I understand that you want to be a, a talk show host. You want to host a parade. 
Well, yes, I thought I'd be your cub reporter for this segment. Give you your hey. chance right now, Bear. Are you ready for this? Yes, I am. Okay. We have Wayne Brady <clears throat> out there on Main Street. We okay. got to throw it to him. It's all yours. Go okay. ahead. Okay, let's check in with Wayne on Main Street. How's it going, Wayne? Thank you very much, Bear. Bear, good job, by the way. Very, very nice job. You have a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you, Wayne. <laughs> thank you, sir. Oh, so I'm here, Bear, with, with a couple friends of mine. These kids have been waiting to see the parade, and they're really excited, so I know what Christmas means to me, so I just want to ask them a few questions. Hey, Hey guys, what's your name? Hannah. Hannah? What do you like about Christmas? Uh, I don't know. Do you, do you know anything about re-gifting? No. <laughs> Has anyone ever given you a gift that you didn't like? No. So you like all gifts? Yeah. Make all gifts out to Hannah. Dear Santa, you are? She is bashful. We have one of the seven dwarfs, everyone. It's bashful. And you are? Tiana. Excuse me? Tiana. Tiana, and, and what do you want for Christmas? My two tone thief. Your two front teeth. <laughs> Take a look, look at that. Well, well, I don't know if you'll get it in time for Christmas, but at least by Easter. And what's your name? Emily. Emily? Do you cook? No. Do you want to learn? Yes. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. It had nothing to do with Christmas. You, you guys, wait, I want to introduce you to someone. I'm really excited because as I was talking to these guys, look, it's Mike and Sully. These are the best monsters in the world. Hey, guys, how are you? Look at that. I'm going to go ahead and hang out with the monsters. Back to you guys. Thanks, Wade. It's Mike and Sully from the Disney Pixar film Monsters Incorporated. Mike Wazowski, now there's a guy I could really relate to. He's clever, he's funny. And he's got a really big head. <laughs> he sure does. <laughs> They're visiting from the Stars and Motor Cars Parade at the Disney MGM Studios, and that's where Meredith Vieira is right now. You all know Meredith. She's seen every day on ABC's The View, and now she's hosting Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yo, Regis, I have some pretty big shoes to fill out here. You're doing a great job, Meredith. Meredith, it looks like you're in New York. No, you are wrong, Kelly. I'm actually here in Florida on the set of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Play It at the Disney MGM Studios. This set is so phenomenal. Every day, thousands of people come to see the thrill of the game to experience it on a set that looks exactly like the one I play on in New York. It is amazing. I cannot tell the difference. And the game is very similar. There are a few exceptions. They don't phone a friend. They phone a complete stranger here. And it, you don't win any money here, but you win the coolest prizes, like a trip on a Disney cruise line. Pretty nice, huh? But listen, guys, join me out in the park. Let's see what's going on. Come on, Regis, Kelly. Well, it looks like they're all having a lot of fun today, but I think they're ready for you inside because it is almost showtime, and showtime is what it's all about at the Disney MGM Studios. From movies to TV and animation to theater. The Disney Imperium Studios is a theme park that's about the Hollywood that never was. It's the fantasy of the movies. It's about show business. It's a great place to visit when you're here at Walt Disney World. Ready for a few highlights? All right, well, how about taking a spin, literally, on Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith? It's a great indoor, dark roller coaster attraction where you go from zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds with a catapult launch that's out of this world, and then three inverted loops. It's the first time we've done inverted loops in a coaster at a Disney park in the United States. That's Jim Hawkins, star of the Disney animated film that's in theaters right now called Treasure Planet. And here at the studios, guests get a behind-the-scenes look at Disney animators working on other upcoming films. Right, Stitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular, which takes you behind the scenes of a stunt being performed in an Indiana Jones-type movie. And we have the Studio Backlot Tour, which features Catastrophe Canyon. It's a special effects spectacular. Now then, picture yourself transported into one of the most famous shows in television history. You've just entered the Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror, a terrifying ride that drops you 13 stories over and over again. And now, when guests experience the Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror, they experience it in a whole new way. You never know what kind of surprises you're going to come across when you ride at this time, because there's multiple ways and multiple shows and multiple stories that we tell now in the Twilight Zone. What a thrill, and it is all part of the show. And that's what it's all about at the Disney MGM Studios, where anyone can find themselves center stage, or, of course, in the millionaire hot seat. 
You know, Regis, you really can feel the show business in the air here, but I want to show you something else that's in the air here. Take a look, Regis, at that handsome couple, huh? Don't we look good together? Oh, yeah, you got that right, Meredith. Good work, pal, and thank you. <laughs> thank you, you bet. And listen, Callie, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Oh, thanks, Meredith. Merry Christmas to you, too. <laughs> look at the billboard. Yes, you're just as handsome as you always are. <laughs> oh, and look at the parade. Hey, the circus is in town. It's Dumbo's circus train. Do you like circuses? You know me, Pip. I'm always clowning around. Well, all kinds of clowns here. Elf clowns, tall clowns, small clowns. Yeah, I get the picture. Uh. These clowns are dressed as, what, firemen? Yeah, they're on stilts and they've got a job to do, look. All right, here's Dumbo, ready for his famous dive. And it looks like Dumbo's trapped up there. Why doesn't he just fly off? to the Disneyland Resort where John Ritter is standing by with a special performance from Aladdin. We'll be right back. Well, now we're looking at Disney's private island in the Bahamas on a beautiful morning with the Disney Cruise Line. And these people don't look like they're expecting any snow today. I think they're trying to tell us something, Reach. Hey, everyone. One, two, three. I wish I were there right now. What's the matter? Aren't you having any fun right here? Oh, I am. I'm having a great time. Like I was saying, no matter where you go, Disney seems to be there. Everywhere. They're at sea. Yes. That's right. They're in the movies. Uh -huh. And they're in California. That's where it all began, That's you know. That's right. And uh, we're going right now out to California and our good friend John Ritter from the ABC hit comedy, Eight Simple Rules. Hey, John, how you doing out there? Is that your final question, Regis? <laughs> no, we're doing great, Regis, right? Yeah! Just like Kelly said, this is where it all began. Disneyland, the original. Walt Disney built that there castle all by himself. Do you know that? Little weekend project. <laughs> yeah. That's enough. I always love coming here for the holidays when the happiest place on earth becomes the merriest place on earth. An absolutely beautiful Christmas wonderland. Just look at It's a Small World. Isn't that amazing? And this is wild. The Haunted Mansion Holiday. Is it a Merry Christmas? Or is it a scary Christmas? Ooh. Yes, there's snow place like Disneyland. <laughs> Must be an isolated storm. <laughs> now, guests who visit here find out that this is more than the Disneyland we grew up with. The Disneyland Resort is something to see. So incredible that one ABC, dare I say it, <laughs> superstar just doesn't do it justice. So joining us from just over yonder at Disney's California Adventure is none other than mi amigo George Lopez. Que pasa, Jorge? Increíble, Juanito. Fabulous, John. I'm here with my new best friends enjoying Disney's California Adventure. Hey, did you get everything you wanted for Christmas? Yep. What did Santa bring you? Brought me a laptop computer. Now, did you know I was going to wear this red thing, or you did that on your own? <laughs> I knew. <laughs> Isn't this a great place? There are four theme lands with all kinds of cool attractions, and it's all part of the Disneyland Resort in California. They've got three hotels, a downtown Disney Entertainment District. Believe me, when you come here, you never want to leave, unlike my relative's house. It's a whole new world, and to celebrate, we have a special Christmas Day sneak preview performance by the cast of Disney's Aladdin, a musical spectacular which opens this January right down here at the Hyperion Theater. Do your magic, Genie. Well, Alibaba had them 40 feet. She had Rosati had a thousand tails. But my story, oh, close up your sleeves. You got a brand of magic never fails. You got some power in your corner now, some heavy ammunition in your cake. You got some punch pizzazz, yahoo, and how? Well, all you gotta do is run. 
of that lamp and I'll say, Mr. Alonso, what will your pleasure be? Lemon like your order, jot it down. You ain't never had a friend like me, no, no, no. Life is your restaurant and I know me you. Come on, whisper what it is you want. You ain't never had a friend like me, yes, sir, we pride ourselves on service. You're the boss, the king, the shop. What you wish, it's yours, true dish I bought a little more baklava Have some from column A You try all of column B I'm in the mood to like up you too You ain't never had a friend like me George Lopez. And John, such a cutie. Black boots, red coats, wooden hands, here they come, the toy soldiers. Oh, they're so beautiful, Reed. What is it about them that makes me feel so nostalgic? I don't know, Kelly, but I'm with you. I love these guys. That's what I call precision. You and I should be that organized. Tell me about it, but who says we're not? Oh, look at all the toys around Donald and Daisy's tree on Christmas morning. A toy train? Hey, and what's that in Donald's hand? It's mistletoe, Big Daddy. Come on, give us a smooch. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that wasn't bad. <laughs> You know, these toy soldiers are classic Disney, aren't they? They've been around since 1961, when they first appeared on the Christmas parade at Disneyland out in California. They were inspired by the movie Babes in Toyland, which was uh, Disney's first live action musical. A lot of Disney's holiday customs around here can be traced back to Walt Disney's own desire to capture the excitement and spirit of his favorite season. Well, during the Christmas holidays, or any other season here at Disneyland, Main Street USA is the happiest, busiest Main Street in the world. Walt was like a big kid all his life, so naturally Christmas was one of those moments that uh, comes along once a year that, that, you know, is an especially happy time. One of the ways he brought joy to others was by working with Toys for Tots, which Disney's been doing for more than 50 years. In fact, Walt designed the charity's famous train logo. At Disneyland, ongoing traditions continue to showcase Walt's love for Christmas. The candlelight processional 
has been a tradition almost, I think, from the beginning at Disneyland, and it really is the Christmas story told through song and narration. It proved so popular that it expanded to Walt Disney World in Florida. And the Christmas traditions continue, like at Epcot, where presenters from other countries recount awesome. tales and customs of their holiday around the world. And Mickey's very merry Christmas party at the Magic Kingdom, which has delighted guests for years. Today, generations of families still seek out the experience and magic of a Disney Christmas. Disney, in the first place, is a magical place. Christmas is a time that celebrates a kind of a magic as well. So when you, you mesh the two together, it's just a natural. And the spirit of Christmas lives on right here at Disney. Right now, we're honored to be joined by one of my favorite performers, Heather Headley. Oh, yes, oh. Heather Headley, shot to fame in The Lion King, won the Tony for Aida, and it's Christmas with us. I know. Where was Christmas as a little girl? Uh, Trinidad. Oh, I grew you're in the Caribbean. So you never saw snow or anything? No, no, I didn't understand that whole I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> what, did, what did they call it? It was a green Christmas. It's a green Christmas. It's oh. like this. Yeah, it's absolutely. Great. So I was like on it. I was like, they're, they're like, why don't you come down to Disney? I was like, sure, I'll be a dresser. I'll clean up. I'll get out of the snow when in Chicago. When was the first time you saw snow? Um, when I was 15. Oh, my gosh. Right, Indiana. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, it's like, no. it doesn't get colder than this. No, no, it got very cold there. <laughs> and when did you find your voice? Um, I'm still finding her. But uh, <laughs> um, my first performance, Mommy, Mommy Says, was at two. Ah. Really? Two years old. Taking all your life then, huh? Yeah. And now we're going on to a full-fledged recording career. Yeah, that's a, that's a new thing. So you it's so much. Me. Yeah, thank you very, very much. It's been fun. A lot of work, but it's good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, are you ready to perform for us here? Yeah, it's, I'm, uh, I'm so excited. Right. Okay, Miss, get ready now. We're going to get to you in just a minute. Okay, but first we're going to check in with Wayne Brady, our man on the street. Wayne. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Mr. Regis. Thank you, Miss Kelly. You know, uh, here I am, hey, Wayne, and, and I'm on Santa Watch right now. You know, it's a big tradition in my house. When I was a little kid, you know, my parents would take me outside and we'd put down a blanket and we'd wait for Santa. But the bad thing about our tradition is that pretty much started around October. So I pretty much had to sit through, through, through three months of just waiting and I got rained on and, and kids would come by and, and take everything from me and dogs would bite me. But darn it, I was waiting for Santa. And we have some people that they actually have uh, some traditions of their own. Hey, what's your name? Hi, I'm Laura Cravens. This is Laura. Laura, what's your big family tradition around this time of year? To come to Disney. We spend the whole week here just getting in the holiday spirit. So, so you spend the whole week, you're, you're soaking it up, and then you take the holiday spirit back to wherever you're from. Where are you from? West Virginia, Charleston, West Virginia. So what's Christmas like in West Virginia? It's cold. It's cold? Yeah, right Good. now it's snowy. Good. You are a weather person. God bless you. Um, <laughs> who else has a really cool Christmas tradition? We have one over here. You are? Mary Mannion. And what do you do every Christmas, Mary? I celebrate my birthday. So you have a Christmas birthday? Yes. Well, happy Christmas slash birthday. Good, Thank you. A good present time. Yeah. What, what's the best present that you've ever gotten on your Christmas birthday? Uh, probably coming to Disney for my birthday. To, good answer. Yes, <laughs> So we're going to come back, and we hope that you guys have really good traditions yourself. So I'm going to stay out here, and these people are going to stay, and we're going to wait for Santa. That's my tradition, because no one's going to tell me that I can't wait for him. Are you guys with me? Yeah! That's what they say until I fall asleep. Back to you. Hey, Wayne, nice job out there. You hang around. Santa will be by before yeah. you know it. Thanks, Wayne. Now, here's Heather Headley singing from her debut CD, This Is Who I Am, her newest hit, If It Wasn't For Your Love. Oh, boy, what a voice, huh? Oh, she's mm. fantastic. Say, we'll be back with more of the Walt Disney World Christmas Day Parade, including The View star Jones and Lizzie McGuire's sweetheart, Hilary Duff. And a sneak peek at Disney's next big thrill ride. Oof, we'll be right this. back. Well, the Christmas parade is certainly in full swing. And we're feeling pretty good about it, too, aren't we? Regis, I've never seen you this jolly. I really am jolly. Bah humbug. <laughs> this will put you in a better mood. Okay. This group is from World Showcase at Epcot. Look at all the beautiful costumes. And I love those flags. These kids represent the 11 countries at Epcot. They've come to share their cultures with us. 
More than 20,000 of these young people have come to Epcot since it opened. This part of the parade reminds me of how Disney has touched so many people around the world. Because these young adults come from such diverse backgrounds, we can really learn a lot from them. And over there right now from ABC's The View is Star Jones. Bonjour, you two, and Feliz Navidad. Star, you're so gorgeous. You look like Mrs. Claus in that outfit. So jolly. You better believe it. Thanks, Kelly. And I feel jolly here at Epcot. You know, today we have all the rides, the exotic food, and the architecture at Epcot. They're really fabulous, but what people seem to really love the most about Epcot is meeting the kids who work here. Look at all these costumes. They're from their different countries. I see Morocco, China, Norway, and France. Hi there, I love your outfit. Thank you. So now tell me your name and where you're from. I'm Naomi, I'm from Italy. Okay, oh Naomi, it must be hard to be away from your family during Christmas time. Yeah, a little. <laughs> well, I have something for you. Let's say hello to your family and friends in your native language. Ciao, mamma, papà. Buon Natale e felice anno nuovo da Epcot. Un bacio. I understood absolutely everything that she said, okay? Anyway, I'm here at Epcot to talk about Epcot, which is easier said than done, because Epcot has just about everything you could possibly want in a theme park. Rides, shows, and of course, my favorite thing to do, shopping. Here, the world is at your doorstep and technology at your fingertips. For me, Epcot is really about realizing an idea that Walt Disney had about using Disney storytelling to communicate to people about real world things and also bringing people together from all over the world to say that, you know, it is a small world after all. Epcot really has two stories to tell. So the first part of Epcot is really about discovery and it's an opportunity for us to tell stories about food and about energy and about the oceans. Fasten your seatbelts. It's time for Test Track, a treat for Epcot thrill seekers. From brake tests to suspension tests, this pulse-pounding ride squeals, peels, and wheels guests through a battery of vehicle tests. And now the countdown is on for some astronaut training in Epcot's next high-tech ride, Mission Space. Well, Mission Space will be an astronaut-like experience. We're going to actually allow people to have a role in the mission, and there'll be a different role for each of the four people at a time, and I think it's going to be very thrilling. The other story is World Showcase, a passport to faraway countries like France, Japan, and the United Kingdom. And at the end of the day, Disney outdoes itself with the park's grand finale, Illuminations, Reflections of Earth. Hey everyone, let's join together and wish the world a Merry Christmas the way we would back home. Okay, everyone ready? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks, Star. <laughs> Coming down the street right now. Oh, I've seen this kid before. Mm -hmm. That's David Krumholtz. He played Bernard, one of Santa's elves in the Santa Claus 2. Oh, yeah, that was a big hit movie, you know. Thanks for spending Christmas with us, David. 
Hey, here's another big hit for you, Rage. It's Hilary Duff, who plays Lizzie McGuire on the Disney Channel. Oh. She's performing her new single on the Santa Claus 2 soundtrack. Hey, that Hillary's a cutie. I could just be, love her. She could be the next Britney Spears. I believe you're right. Well, listen, we'll be right back with a Treasure Planet uh, performance by John Resnick of the Goo Goo Dolls and a special holiday message from the President of the United States. Stay with us. Well, we're back, and guess who just dropped into our booth here? Sarah Rue from uh, Less Than Perfect and Eric Roberts from the same show on Hello. ABC. Hello. Nice to have you guys with us. It's, it's, it's got to make you us. feel so good to have such a breakout uh, hit. You know, with so many shows being made and so many shows that are canceled constantly, yeah. the two of you have a hit on your hands. Yeah. Who knew? I know. We're <laughs> so thankful every day. We feel so lucky. Have you been to Disney World before? When I was three years old. Oh, is oh, that right? Kidding. Yes, and my mom was telling me that I had breakfast with Minnie Mouse. Uh -huh. No kidding. Yeah. What, what about you, big boy? No, I've never been here before except in the airport. Oh, You're really? Kidding. So what do you think, Eric? I think it's great. I have to tell a wonderful Christmas story very yeah. quickly. I, uh, we moved from New Orleans to Atlanta when I was four years old, and I'd never seen snow, of course. And one day it snowed, and I saw it on the front lawn, and I went into my father's bedroom, and I said, Dad, don't be upset, but there's sand all over the front lawn. <laughs> and Because uh, I had never seen snow. So. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, nice, nice. Story. What about you, Sweet Sarah? Got story. any Christmas memories? Well, I said no when they asked me, but unfortunately my mother is with me today, and she was like, have I got stories for you? <laughs> oh, right. And apparently I used to unwrap all the gifts when I thought they weren't looking, and then rewrap them, and then actually surprised on Christmas morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they wised up and stopped you getting stuff. You yeah. after my own heart. <laughs> all right, so it's on ABC Tuesday nights at 9.30. Yeah. Nice job. Guys. Thank you so Thank much you. for stopping happy, by. Happy you too. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy ah, morning. why don't you guys stick around for our next performance? Yeah, he is a big rock star. That's right. Singer, performer, songwriter. Yes, uh, he's got the uh, <laughs> the scratchy voice, you know, the white teeth, got the whole thing. You know who we're talking oh, who about. Who are we talking about? John Resnick the of Google the Goo Goo Dolls. Dolls. Sure. <laughs> he's yeah. here to sing his hit song from Disney's Treasure Planet. It's called I'm Still Here.
Christmas, John. John. Now look what's on Main Street as the Christmas Day Parade continues with some little gingerbread men. Mm. And they're with the baking elves. What are they baking? Can't you smell the gingerbread? Oh yeah, just like mom used to make. Jingle, jingle, what a beautiful sight. Jump in bed, cover up your head, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. The host with bows of holly, fa-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la. It's just Chip and Dale, in chef hats and aprons. They're not cooking, they're just playing around. That looks like me and you in the kitchen, kiddo. A house of candy, Mrs. Claus sure looks comfy in that rocket. So keep an eye on her candy cane maids. Now, where do you suppose her husband is? Hmm. I hear she keeps the big guy pretty close. Well, wouldn't you? Oh, these days. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Come Santa Claus, come Santa Claus. As part of the Disney Parade tradition, we're honored to bring you a personal holiday greeting from the President of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, President George W. Bush. Good morning. As we celebrate this joyous time of year, we join millions of Americans in counting the many blessings we enjoy, including our families, our freedoms, and our great nation. Laura and I hope you'll join us in remembering and thanking those who have given so much to establish, preserve, and protect our country and the freedoms we hold dear, the United States military. We also hope that you will take time during this holiday season to serve something greater than yourselves by sharing your blessings with those in need. Everyone can do something to help their neighbors and their nation. If you're looking for a way to make this holiday season a season of service, go online or make a phone call to the USA Freedom Corps to find volunteer opportunities in your community. Laura and I wish you the happiest of holidays and a wonderful new year. Enjoy the parade and may God bless you all. We'll be right back with the grand finale of the Walt Disney World Christmas Day Parade and a special appearance from Santa Claus! Okay, we're back, and that magical moment is finally here. I mean, I can feel it in the air. Can you feel it, Kelly? Oh, absolutely. That's because there's a VIP coming. And you know we've had a lot of wonderful people on this show today. But the next person we're about to see is truly one of a kind. And like any major star, he comes with a great big entourage. In fact, he should be on Main Street right about now. Ah, oh, I see a reindeer. Wait, wait, wait. wait a minute, I see elves. And that means the big kahuna is right behind you. There's a sleigh. I knew it. It's Santa Claus. Oh, you know, I still get chills every time I see it. Fresh from his world tour, too. <laughs> Santa 
Well, we're back. I want to wish you a mm. Merry Christmas, kiddo. You too. And everybody at home as well. Merry Christmas. Now let's kick off our big finale on Main Street with a Broadway sensation, Heather Headley, backed by the Seminole High School Choir. John, 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 John. This looks like the end of our parade this Christmas. It's been a lot of fun. Hi, Santa. Yeah, How you real doing? Deal. <laughs> Thanks for spending Christmas with us, everybody. It's been a great Christmas parade. Thanks to all of you for joining us, and we'll see you next year. Happy holidays, and goodbye, everybody.